Hey guys, and welcome back to Chad Queen. Chad Queen. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. And today we're gonna have a party. Not that kind of party, but don't worry, it'll still be a blast because instead of dancing or having fun, we're going to find out whether we're a fish he or a fish her. Gender reveal parties were birthed in 2008 by a blogger who decided to cut into her cake and let the color of frosting reveal her baby's gender. Little did she know she was starting a new custom involving family and celebration and wildfires. But before we start to babble about these TikToks, let's take a moment to babble about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Babbel, the language learning platform with over 10 million subscriptions worldwide. My mom and grandma speak Spanish and sometimes they say super sweet things to me like callete and eres una de Decepción. You are a disappointment. So I decided it's time to freshen up my own Spanish and join the conversation. Babbel uses award-winning technology to make learning fun while teaching you how to speak a new language in as little as three weeks. If normal lessons aren't for you, Babbel offers engaging 10-minute lessons, games, videos, and even podcasts. They really want to avoid the monotony of teaching boring vocab words, so they teach real-world practical conversations that would be used while traveling, working, or even in everyday relationships. Triste. Or you can just learn a second language so that you can tell people you learned a second language and they think that you're cooler than them. Which you would be. If you want to check them out, just click the link in my description and get 65% off of your subscription. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. This is actually the TikTok that inspired me to make this video. It went so viral that literal news outlets started writing about it. I mean, it's just her first thought is to go hug him and then all of the boys basically body slam her. But they do eventually include her. Like this guy towards the end hands her a phone like she's a stranger at Disney World. Hey, you don't look busy. Can you take a picture of us? We just found out he's having a baby boy. I know, I'm the mom. I'm the pregnant one. Oh, no way. Wow, it is so nice to meet you. We've met before. Anyway, just make sure it's in portrait mode. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident because I found another gender reveal party where the same exact thing happens. Even down to the same wardrobe, everyone's sporting this fashion combo with the hat and the sunglasses that look like you're about to get your teeth whitened. So this is just a thing that happens regularly, I guess, where you forget about and exclude the person who's doing like 99. 9% of the work. I didn't know that having a gender reveal party was so life-threatening. Do you think the invitation specified that the dress code is like combat casual? Just wear something that looks cute, but can also protect your ribs from potential trauma. And don't forget your insurance card. That's unrelated, but don't forget it. At least they have the good sense to have the mom throw the ball toward them from a distance. Otherwise, we'd have a real Thunderdome situation on our hands. Congratulations, you're having a boy. Oh my God, that's great. That's what I was hoping for. Good luck. What do you mean? Wait, no, what? Is that a whole baseball team? But it's apparently pretty common to ignore the mother of your child at these things and just sprint in the opposite direction. The gender will get revealed and the dad just starts running off on his own little side quest. Which there's nothing wrong with. I mean, they're just excited. But sometimes you can see the mom in the background, arms open wide, chasing after him like, wow, I'm so happy. Cause where, where are you going? Maybe just a squeeze. This is kind of important. Will the baby have pink blood or will they be a CBS show starring Tom Selleck? I'm not gonna pretend like this isn't a really creative way of doing this. It doesn't have the potential to cause physical injury to anyone or poison any aquatic life, which I can't say about all of these gender reveal parties. Like in this one, we're using a knife, a knife. We are using a knife to pop the balloon and pointing it towards the father in the general vicinity of the human that bleeds. And the baby is crying, obviously, because it just witnessed attempted manslaughter or you could try and poison all of your loved ones with toxic fumes huh wouldn't that be a gas <laughs> God, I can't wait to find out what the baby is. Good. Wait, what do you mean? Then there's this one where there's not even an attempt to not litter. You know what, mommy? I'm a girl. I hope that makes you happy. I always want to make you happy. 
I think it was planned, actually. They seem to have gone out of their way to ensure that plastic would end up in the river. What if instead of doing this on the grass, where we would have to pick up after ourselves, like peasants, we put it directly in the water, then we don't have to pick it up, and the world ends a little bit faster. It's a win-win. I'm gonna be a parent. Another popular theme is to use as much water as you can and then put it on a plane. As far as I can tell, it seems to be some kind of competition to see how much water you can waste and you have to log in how many gallons you used each time you have a gender reveal party. And if you win, they show up to your house with a big check and balloons, which you will throw in the ocean, we hope. Or if you're feeling bored, you can simulate a tsunami just to feel something. <laughs> Just make sure you get the cake for a good bargain to make room in the budget for the lifeguard you're gonna need. So what's on the itinerary for the party? Drowning. Cool. Because who needs to conserve water, really, when you think about it? Water's infinite, just like awful movies starring Jared Leto. Some of these are also extremely complicated for no reason. like the more steps involved in the reveal, the more gender you get, I guess, just in case you want an extra scoop of gender with your gender. Okay, so you're gonna open that box, okay, and then you're gonna pop each of those balloons individually with a spoon, okay, and then when the balloons, they have legs, start running at 30 miles per hour, which doesn't sound that fast, but Usain Bolt can only do 27.3, and then you're gonna Okay, wanna... can you just tell me what genitals my kid is gonna have? Or you have others where you build a wall just to demolish it, like an episode of Extreme Makeover in Reverse. I know this is probably the dad, but I like to think it's a service you can purchase. Like you can hire a guy on Craigslist just for this purpose. He has to email you a resume detailing his experience in breaking walls. From 2009 to 2012, I personally mediated and oversaw a team of one just myself having some pretty bad anger issues. Then 2012 to the present, I have been working as an understudy for the Kool-Aid man. Oh no! I guess this one isn't really a problem as long as we don't let him volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. You made me a house? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. You're so welcome. Why are you putting on a helmet? I'm sorry, my wife's pregnant. What does that have to do with Cannonball. It? For this next portion, I want to do a comparative study. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to show you two videos with two different outcomes and two different reactions and see if you can pick up on the slight difference in response. Are you ready? Put on your science goggles or you might miss it. Did you see it? The second one didn't have any fireworks. I think there's a fine line between being a little let down and making your daughter regret being born. Okay, the second and third time, did you really need to go on that long in front of your other children who are girls? I can't believe we have three daughters. God, girls are the worst. I hate them. Mommy, why is dad so upset? Don't worry, honey. He just doesn't like the way that you are. Them? Girls can't play sports. These gender reveal parties can apparently cause not only marital drifts, but also tectonic ones. A family did their gender reveal party at a quarry with 80 pounds of tannerite, which is an explosive powder. When they detonated the explosion, it caused a small earthquake which rocked two states, causing lots of damage to nearby houses. I think we're almost at the point where we need to start adding these to the list of natural disasters. We got droughts, hurricanes, Everlay, Lee Lay's gender reveal. Can you imagine having to explain why you're in prison after this? I killed a man, and his mom, and his dad, and his entire family. Well, I made a girl bomb. I feel bad for the kid though, because they're gonna have a complicated childhood if this is the link their parents went to for just the gender reveal. I'd be terrified to go to their wedding. Do you, Chad, take Chad to be your lawfully wedded Chad? Yes, I- Mom, mom, stop it. Put that down. Thank you, I do. Mom, mom, no. No, stop it. 
Put that down. Stop. Bad mom. There's so many different ways of doing this without endangering the entire state of New Hampshire. And some people do all of them and just go all out. They have the balloons, plus the fireworks, plus the smoke. Some of them even have their own soundtrack. <laughs> And I honestly admire the setup, it's exciting. I feel like we're watching a movie and approaching the climax. After years of fighting and struggling and breaking walls, we've sacrificed much, too much, but no more. Because today, everything we've worked for has paid off and it's finally time to pop the balloon. Everyone do a countdown. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's a pollution. Oh wow, I had a hunch. I just knew it. I had a feeling. I'm gonna call it there guys. Thank you for subscribing and if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.